Hello everyone, welcome to a new process video. I am working on six by eight pocket pages here and these photos are from the hostel where I stayed when I was in Denver. Sometimes when I go to Denver I stay with friends, sometimes I've stayed in a hotel. This time I decided to try a hostel that was very close to the art museum and since the art museum was really why I was there, I was there for a large exhibit that was showing, I decided you know, stay at a hostel that's close by where I can walk really easily and I didn't need to rent a car. I could take the train or the bus or walk everywhere. So it was perfect. So this is what I have in terms of my photos. So I have four photos. I have three extra slots here. So I'm going to actually have to find quite a few cards to put in here. I do definitely want a journal, but I'm not sure if that's going to be a four by six or a three by four journal card. And then I need to fill the other spaces with something. <laughs> so I'm gonna make that my first job here. I have taken out my stack of four by six travel related cards and I just store these in a pouch like this and I put them in rainbow order just so that it's easier to find if I'm looking for a specific color and then perhaps cards that have multiple colors go in the back. And for this one, I think I want to use this card. I haven't been everywhere, but it's on my list because I go to Denver a lot. I grew up in Colorado, but there's always new things to see and I really like that saying. And because this is a new place I tried, checking something off my list by staying at a new hostel. Now looking at this, I do think I'm going to make a slight change. I've got a lot of red over here and not a whole lot over here. There's like a tiny bit here, a little bit here. So I think I may actually just switch these so that then I have some red on this side as well as this side. I've also selected this card now and the other side actually happens to be more red but it's not quite the same red so I wasn't sure that I wanted to use that and I kind of like that this is black and white. I think what I'll do is probably pick the card that's going to go up here for the journaling and then decide do I still want the black and white or do I want the red. At least I have two options and they'll both work so that's helpful. I think I found the card that I want to use over here and it's this one and normally I wouldn't think to put these two colors together but I kind of like it and the only thing I noticed is that when I put it down here it's very close to the same color here there's a little bit here a little bit here in the mat but I think I'm going to switch photos again <laughs> I think I'm going to put this one over here and that one up top. Now there is that color, but it's quite minimal compared to a lot right here and even this reflection of lights out here. So I think this is a better color mix. So I think that this is the configuration that I'm going to go with. Now for this card, the other thing I like is that there is room for me to just journal a little bit right here, but I can also stamp something here, which is cool. I like that. So this will just be kind of like, hey, I tried a new hostel. I think I have room in a subsequent layout that I can write more about the hostel itself. So I don't need a huge amount of space here, but I want a little bit, but I do like that I can stamp there. So I'm gonna grab my travel stamps and see what I can put into that fun little space. I have picked out a stamp set that I want to use, and this one is called Away from Carrie Bradford Studio. Hopefully the camera is picking that up for you, but if you're interested, that's what it's called, and that's where you can find it. And I think I'm going to use this stamp that says My Kind of Simple, if it will fit. Let's see. Oh, it will barely, but it'll fit. So I'm gonna use that one, because I know a lot of people don't like to travel to hostels, at least people that are my age, I'm in my 40s. But I'm not somebody who needs a re really fancy hotel or anything. Minimal will do for me because really I'm not there to spend time in my room. I'm there to be out and about. My room is only a resting point. So simple for me is good. So I think it really fits this layout. I have done the stamping on my card and I love the way that it came out. That's awesome. So now I can use that up there. I will do my journaling off camera. I do want to say the surface of this card, I wasn't quite sure. It's cardstock, but it felt like maybe there was a little bit of coating on it. I wasn't sure. So I did use stays on just to ensure that it did not smear and it worked great. So I, I think that was a wise choice. 
Now I am going to just work on embellishing stuff around the page. So I've pulled out my phrase labels. I've pulled out some other types of things that I have. They're all travel related. I also have some chipboard and some word stickers in here. So I'm going to go through those and see what I can find. So I found this phrase label in my stash of stuff. I have the same one but kind of in the reverse. It's red background and then it almost has this bluish color, but I didn't like the way that looked so much. I don't know if it was the bluish color that was throwing me off or what, but I have this one that I like and I think that's just enough red. This felt like maybe it was too much, so I think I'm gonna go with that one and I'm gonna put it right there across the bottom. I actually chose to cut off a little bit on each end. The ends seemed really blank. There was a lot of extra white space there that I didn't need. So I decided to trim those off and then I have put it on the card. And now I'm just going to put in some mini staples here. And there we go. I pulled out some more phrase labels that were in these colors and I still may use some of those, but I also had these and I have this arrow, which is a pretty close color there and this little heart. So I want to see if I can work those in. I think I can do the arrow right here on this photo and then it leads the eye across the page. For the heart, I'm not exactly sure where or how I would work that in, but I don't know. I'm not willing to give up on it yet. I attached the arrow on there and I really like the look of that. I think it matches really well and I like that it brings in more of that color to this side. So I'm pleased with that. And for the heart, I was thinking maybe I could squish it in right at the apex of these points here for the compass. And then it also brings in more of this color, but not right next to this. So I added the heart there and I do like it. I think that was a good decision. It just, it's cute. It has a little bit of color. And for this one, I don't know that I really need anything else. I was thinking maybe to do something here because I have dead space, but then it would be right next to this, which I know I wouldn't like. And then I have some over here too, but I've already got something on this side. So if I did anything, I might do something up in the corner. I'm going to think about it a little bit and see how I feel. I have decided to add in one more thing. I'm going to do it right here on the floor. I just have this little squiggly, little red sticker there. So I'm just gonna add that in. If I add it and hate it, I'll take it off quickly. Hopefully it won't damage the photo, but I'm at least going to try it there and see how I feel about it. Well, I tried it there and I did not like it at all. It was too weird next to this, so I did take it up and hopefully it didn't get too much damage there. I decided to put it on the bottom of this card instead. So now it will be like that. And I think I'm happy with that. And this one's done. So here's another one completed for Denver. Thanks for watching.